Peter Gray from the AU Review in Australia. Hello, Kevin and William. Hey, hey, how's how you doing? Man? What's happening? Very well. How are you? I'm good. Look great. Thank you very much. Um, we... I'm going to say uh, with this film, obviously you're stuck in a house with, you know, a 12 year old vampire ballerina. But for you, is there anything that you could just like not handle being stuck in a house with for the both of you? <laughs> Uh, probably for me, which, uh, Catherine would hate this, but I don't like watching golf. So if, if, if I was, if the house was filled with TVs with golf on, I would, I would, I, I that would be torture to me. I just don't want to be stuck anywhere that I can't get out of. <laughs> <laughs> that right there will be, uh, be a, lo a long, long life for me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you've probably theater. seen, you know, seen enough horror movies to know that like characters like just get out of the house as soon as shit goes down, basically. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. And working with working with Alicia, like you've got like the intricacies of fight choreography, but like, do you have like, is there a sort of a worry of being like we have to be that much more delicate because you know she's as young as she is, or is it kind of just like? You, you like she's going to attack us like we're in safe hands like how do you sort of navigate that that feeling mm. i'll put that to you first kevin she alicia is um <laughs> she was like uh she's just such a born professional i, I it, it, yeah of course you you know I would constantly kind of catch myself every once in a while saying a word, you know, like a curse word or something, being like, ugh. But then again, she's turning around and turning into this demon spouting way more horrific language at us. So, uh, you know, she she was uh, she was just 100% game. I never felt like, oh, I'm working with a fragile kid. I'm working with a terrifying demon is what I'm like. She was terrifying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like she's scared. She's between action and cut. She was terrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, At cut. She became the sweet, brilliant uh, girl that she is. But uh, it didn't feel like it was, she was a fragile no. creature. Her commitment she? to the work. I remember oh. we were all in the van and she zipped up in the in the bag, and you know, everyone's <laughs> like, you know, are you okay? You okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. Guys, let's go. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she's like, listen, I'm here. This is what I do. Yeah. You know, you guys come to play with me. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 and, I, yeah. and I love the confidence and the genuineness of that. And I'm so excited. She kills this movie and her future. Mm. So totally. Yeah. And like, I really, I really loved in this how like you all have such specific characters and obviously a lot of like Rickles and Peter's backgrounds come from the script. But like, did you both personally inject like any details to inform your characters? Well, my, my father's ex-military, so, yeah. you know, we'll pull a little bit from him and his story and then working with the armor guys. And then I always felt when I read the script that all of us, this was our last job. We committed to mm. this one job together and we were off to the sunset and then it, it makes a turn. Yeah. So now you're trying to figure it out. Now you're second guessing yourself. Maybe I should have passed on this one. How do I get myself <laughs> out? You know, and that's human. You know, we think about those things in real life. Yeah. Pop probably the personal thing the, the the really personal thing that i brought to peter was uh i i asked tyler and matt if i could make him french canadian uh, <laughs> because that that's my uh i moved to la i don't know 150 years ago with a french accent the french canadian accent that i had to learn how to drop and so it felt so liberating to be able to just kind of put it back on mm. uh and it felt like a really comfy sweater and um, it's just nice to kind of luxuriate into not having to worry about not sounding American. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Well, now I can say like, wow, your accent was so believable, but it's why it, it comes back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, no, that like, was I, my uh, normal way of talking when I first moved here. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no, I, I mean, I, I love horror movies so much i had so much fun with this i was never i never knew where it was going so uh really just congratulations to both of you because like this is just the reason why we go to the movies to see movies like this so thank you oh, both nice yes nice. thank you thank yes you. thank you and, and you got so you gotta to you gotta mail me that sweater <laughs> that's, a good, yeah, that's I'll, awesome I, there's, a, there's a lot of people that want it so i'll like i'll get okay <laughs> Fantastic, man. Okay. Thank you so, Thank you much. so much.